This hypnosis routine is sponsored by Pandora Comics. Now featuring the new gigantic crossover webcomic, Manifold Crisis. Hello, my name is Fnir Otter, and I will be the one taking you into trance. I'm Oren Otter, and I'll be the one performing the actual transformation. The purpose of this routine is to allow you to experience a transformation to your own senses into a skunk. And this will be accompanied by a courage booster. Skunks are naturally courageous animals, for obvious reasons. And as you are transformed into a skunk, you will be too. At the end of this routine, you will be left in trance to awaken in your own good time. For this reason, we recommend doing this when your schedule is clear. Now, for those of you who aren't feeling particularly brave about hypnosis, that's perfectly all right. I'd like to speak to your misgivings so that you can do this and feel unafraid. Hypnosis can be a very powerful tool, but it's not magic. It's not mind control. It's not voodoo or hoodoo or any of that mystical stuff. Hypnosis is a completely natural part of the way that our minds already work. And even if we could control your mind, I wouldn't do that. That's not very nice. No, you're going to be in charge the entire time. You're going to have the power to stop the process at any point if you don't like what's happening. If at any time you don't like what I'm doing, you can come out of trance right then and there and stop the recording. You have that power. As always, we recommend going in with a positive attitude for best results. We don't recommend going in with any emotional baggage. So, if you'd like to take a moment and go deal with anything, you can go ahead, just pause the video, and we'll wait right here for you. Now, of course, there are circumstances where we don't recommend hypnosis at all. Don't do this while you're driving. Don't do this while you're operating some great metal machine. Don't do this while you're meeting the president. Those are all very bad times for hypnosis. But as long as you're using common sense, we can push ahead. Please remember that not everyone is equally able to go into trance the first time. If this doesn't work for you the first time, keep listening to the routines and you will get it eventually. The effects will be cumulative and your perseverance will pay off. So please do not comment in the doobly-doo that it didn't work. Keep trying, it will. The main thing is, just let it happen. Hypnosis is much like falling asleep. The more you actively try, the harder it becomes. So just learn to let it happen to you. Still with me? Wonderful. Just go ahead and get comfortable now. You should be either sitting or lying down in a position in which your head is supported so that you can relax completely. If you feel the need to move around at all to become more comfortable, if you need to cough or sneeze or scratch an itch, do whatever you have to do. We want you to be as comfortable as possible. Otherwise, just go ahead and lie still and relax and let my words do all of the work for you. Are you ready? All right, let's get to it. I would like you to imagine that you're walking along a trail through a meadow. And as you walk, you come to a wooded area. It's a pleasant fall morning. And so, although some of the trees are still green, others are turning brilliant colors. Brilliant shades of yellow and gold and orange, crimson and scarlet. And there's even a few crab apple trees with leaves of deep purple. Delightful odors waft on the breeze. You detect the smell of pine and spruce and fir, the delicious aroma of ripening fruits of the forest, and even the slight musty odor of the leaf litter all contribute to make a delightfully rich scentscape. Up ahead, you hear the sound of water running. And so, you go ahead along the trail to investigate. And you find a waterfall, a small one, feeding into a fish pond. And the fish pond 
in turn, feeds a brook that goes off down along the path. Friendly koi come to the edge of the pond to look at you and say hello. Feeling intrepid, you take a drink from the waterfall. The water is cool and sweet. It's a wonderful change from the heat of the sun out in the meadow. On the other side of the path is a hammock. It looks like the most comfortable hammock in the world. It's completely shaded from the sun by the big, beautiful trees. And look, there on the tree at the head of the hammock, there's a sign with your name on it. This hammock was meant just for you. So you lie down in the hammock, and it feels good as you relax your weary backbone. Stretching out, relaxing everything, feeling absolutely wonderful. And that wonderful, cool feeling that you got from drinking at the waterfall is spreading out throughout your body now. And you can feel that coolness pooling in the tips of your toes. It feels absolutely wonderful. And everywhere this cool feeling goes, you'll be able to relax your muscles completely. And you can feel that sensation coming up from your toes into your feet all the way up to the ankle, just like you're wading into a nice cool pool of water. That's causing all of the muscles in your feet to completely relax, taking all of the stress and tension away, leaving you feeling peaceful and calm and good. That cool feeling rises higher and higher, coming up past your ankle into your lower legs. Your shins and your calves are relaxing. Everything below the knee just feeling calm and quiet and restful. That delightfully cool feeling coming up past your knees now, making your knees relax, making everything feel good. And everywhere that that cool feeling touches your body, you find that you can just let go of all the stress. Just let go of all the tension, of all the cares, of all the worries. That cool feeling rising higher and higher, coming up your thighs now, making the muscles of your thighs relax. Just feeling good as you lay back and listen to the sound of my voice. And as that cool feeling rises up into your torso, you can also feel it in your fingertips, rising up your fingers, joint by joint, coming up towards your hand, making your fingers relax completely. You can feel all the stress and tension of the day seeping out through your fingertips, just melting away as that delightful cool feeling rises higher and higher coming up past your waist now, coming up past your wrists, coming higher up into your body, into your lower arms, making the muscles of your lower arms relax, and into your belly now, and your lower back, into every part of your abdomen, all the way down to the backbone, everything feeling good, feeling cool, and calm, and relaxed, feeling is up to your elbows now, coming up into your upper arms, up toward your rib cage, just feeling wonderful, peaceful, calm and relaxed as it rises higher and higher, making every muscle go limp and relax, just feeling so good as you continue to listen to the sound of my voice, feeling better and better, that cool feeling rising up higher and higher into your shoulders, into your collarbones and shoulder blades, more and more permeating every part of your body as it rises up into your neck, everything from the neck down, feeling calm, cool, peaceful, and relaxed, and now you can feel that wonderful cool sensation coming up around your chin, 
around your mouth, causing all the muscles in your head and your face to relax up around your nose and around your eyes, coming all the way up through your forehead into the top of your head, everything just feeling so peaceful, relaxed, and good. Feeling absolutely wonderful as you listen to the sound of my voice and begin to drift downward into trance, just like a feather floating on the breeze. Further and further, as you listen to the sound of my voice, all of your muscles, as relaxed as they can be, the only ones doing any work now, are the ones that you're using to breathe. So go ahead and breathe deeply. With each breath you take in, I would like you to open your eyes. And as you breathe out, close them again. And you'll find that as you do, each time you open your eyes, breathing in more of that pleasant, cool sensation, your eyes will be just a little bit heavier. It's as if weights are being added to them each time you breathe in. And each time you breathe out, breathing out those last bits of stress and tension and worry, your eyes will close just a little bit more easily. As you breathe deeply, in and out, just listening to the sound of my voice, feeling better and better as you drift downward into that wonderful, peaceful state of trance, further and further, feeling better and better as you breathe in, opening your eyes a little bit less each time, and breathing out, letting them close a little bit more easily, feeling so good, feeling absolutely wonderful, breathing deeply, feeling better and better. And if you would like to go ahead and close your eyes, you can go ahead, just close your eyes, let them close, let them lock shut, feeling wonderful, feeling better and better, the deeper into trance you go, breathing in, feeling better and better, breathing out, nice deep breaths, eyes closed all the way, because it just feels so good to lay back and relax and listen to the sound of my voice. If you'd like to try to open your eyes, you can try to do that, but you're going to find that they're not going to open, because it just feels too good to relax completely. Feeling wonderful and relaxed and peaceful as you listen to the sound of my voice, letting my words create your reality for you. Feeling better and better as you drift deeper and deeper. And I'm going to take you even further now. I'm going to count backwards from 10 to 1. With each number I count, you're going to be going deeper and deeper into trance. And when I reach 1, I'll snap my fingers and say sleep. Each time I do this, you're going to be able to go 10 times deeper into that blissful state of trance. 10, continuing down now. 9, further and further. 8, just floating like a feather. 7, feeling better and better. 6, just listening to the sound of my voice. 5, drifting deeper into trance. 4, deeper with each number I go. 3, going deeper the better you feel. 2, feeling better the deeper you go. 1, sleep. Still feeling absolutely wonderful as you go deeper and deeper toward sleep. Feeling that wonderful state of sleep. Deep sleep. Deep, deep sleep. Wonderful sleep. Relaxing sleep. Peaceful sleep. You're doing very well now. You've gone as deep as you can go into trance right now. But I'm going to take you even deeper. To do that, I'm going to have to wake you up momentarily. As I count, one, more awake with each number I count, two, coming back up to the waking world, three, becoming aware of your surroundings, four, open your eyes, five, fully awake now, still feeling absolutely wonderful. We're just taking a quick break. So if you'd like to stretch out your muscles or shift your position to get more comfortable, go ahead and do that. Just do whatever you need to do to feel comfortable. And we're going back down now as I begin counting with 10 back down into trance, 9 a hundred times deeper with each number I count, 8 a thousand times deeper, 7 still floating just like a feather, 6 deeper and deeper, 5 feeling better the deeper you go, 
four, going deeper, the better you feel. Three, nearly there now. Two, almost all the way. One, sleep. Doing very well. Just listen to the sound of my voice and sleep. Enjoying that state of deep sleep. Wonderful sleep. Relaxing sleep. Calm sleep. Peaceful sleep. Deep sleep. Deep, deep sleep. Everything is cool and relaxed and deep in trance now. From your fingers and toes to your heart all the way to your head. Everything is deep in trance and feeling wonderful. And now it's time for your transformation. And so here's my husband, Orin Otter. Hello, my friend. I'm Orin. And I'm here to transform you into a skunk. I like your choice. Skunks are one of my favorite types of animal. So, let's begin with your clothing. You're not going to need that. You're going to be covered in fur. So, I'll just magic your clothing away. Send it back to its drawers and hangers. Piece by piece, your clothing is vanishing away, leaving your body completely naked and you feeling unashamed. There's nothing wrong with being naked. Not when you're a furry animal, which is exactly what you're becoming. Observe your skin. It's developing beautiful black fur. And on your stomach, on your hands and feet, and parts of your face, a beautiful white fur. We'll go down to your toes now and observe the way your toenails are growing, becoming longer, harder, sharper, larger, transforming into the claws of a skunk. Your feet becoming slender and paw-like. Your legs shrinking, becoming smaller and smaller, transforming into animal haunches. Your whole body is becoming smaller gradually bit by bit as the transformation progresses at the base of your spine you can feel a tail growing outward growing down between your legs skinny at first but then becoming fluffier and fluffier as your tail is covered in a layer of thick, luxurious fur. Gorgeous, long, silky fur. If you'll observe your fingers, you'll see that your fingernails are growing the same way that your toenails did. Becoming longer, harder, sharper, transforming into the claws of a skunk. And your hands are also becoming more paw-like, but not transforming into paws exactly. They remain very hand-like, just the perfect type of hands for a skunk. And your arms are getting shorter, becoming smaller and smaller, and your shoulders migrating to the front so that when you stand on all fours, 
your arms will be directly beneath you. Changes are progressing upward, upward toward your neck as your entire body shrinks, gradually becoming the size of a skunk. Your head is changing shape. Your ears are traveling upward on your head. Your nose is becoming longer and your mouth is extending forward. Your face transforming into the face of a skunk. If you look in this mirror that I'm holding up, you'll notice a white stripe running from your nose, going up your head, Going back along the top of your head between your ears. And in fact, it goes down the back of your torso as two stripes. And then goes all the way down to the tip of your tail to join again at the very end. You have become a very attractive skunk. Finally, you can feel something growing underneath your tail, just inside your rear end. Those are your scent glands. Those are what give you your powers. Your enemies will find stench of your musk absolutely atrocious and they'll do anything to avoid being sprayed by you and from this fact you will derive confidence you are now one of the bravest animals in the animal kingdom and this bravery is going to stay with you even once you revert to human form you're going to enjoy that feeling of courage and you're going to be able to recapture that feeling of power of courage of strength of determination anytime you want to all you have to do is remember the time when you were transformed into a skunk. And as soon as you remember that moment, you will be able to draw once again on that feeling of chutzpah, of moxie, of valor, of being heroic and intrepid, that feeling that nothing can stop you, and whatever you set your mind to do, you can do, no matter how hard it is, no matter who or what is standing against you, you are a skunk, you may not have enormous teeth, you may not have a mighty roar, you may not be able to run at a million miles per hour. It doesn't matter. You are the powerful one. You are the one with courage, with bravery, completely unafraid, always able to push ahead, filled with fortitude. And again, any time that you want to recapture this feeling of power and courage and valor, all you have to do is remember the time that you spent as a skunk, and those feelings will come rushing back, and you'll be able to recapture that boldness, that 
fortitude, that valor. But of course, being a skunk isn't all about fearless deeds. There's a lot of fun to be had. And just outside that door is a whole big forest just waiting for you to go play in it. There's lots of things to explore. Trees, hills, rocks, rivers. There's lots of delicious insects to eat. Lots of friendly animals to meet. Perhaps even some other skunks. And so, as I hold open the door, I invite you to go out and play. When you're ready to wake up, which I will allow you to do in your own good time, you'll remember with crystal clarity all the happy time that you spent as a skunk playing in the forest, having delightful adventures, enjoying your little fluffy furry body. Every time you think about that, every time you're reminded of it, any time you see a skunk or anybody even mentions the word skunk, those happy feelings are going to come rushing back to you. You're going to remember how wonderful it felt to be a skunk and you're going to be filled with those happy feelings. I'd like to thank you for choosing the Transformation Parlor. Now go ahead, little skunk, and go have some fun. <laughs>